what is up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel what is the vibe my beautiful tribe happy freaking tuesday right so i've been gone for a little bit i said that in another video i'm back all right i i've got a lot going on okay not crying about it not upset about it I'm the type of woman, okay, who goes after what I want. I will not stop. I will never give up. And I know that God is rocking on my side. My angels are rocking on my side. And so much of my spirit team, my mom, my dad in heaven, they, you know, we, we're, we're, we're pushing through um, obstacles, okay, that um, that is going to um, definitely um, take me and my kids to a destination of peace, love, abundance, and so much more. So I want you to know that I want you to keep going no matter what obstacle you got in front of you. Knock it down. Okay, that's what it's there for. Knock it down. But let's tap into this video that I have, all right? A lot of people and one you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people and one of us. Let's tap into the message. Many people can come up against one person, but if that one person is spiritually equipped, if that one person, you, me, are spiritually equipped with God, Jesus, the ancestors, archangels, so many, so many people in the spiritual realm, if that one person like us is equipped with all of this spiritual ammunition, this is not a fair fight, okay? And our enemies out here, they look at us and sometimes they see us in isolation and they see us alone, so they want to pick and they want to poke at us, right? Not understanding and underestimating what and who is truly behind us. The power that we have, the power over our tongue, the power in our actions by doing absolute nothing to them. By saying absolutely nothing to them. We rock out in silence. Well, they rock out in lies and slander and gossip and trying to defame us. We rock out in silence. That is who we are. That is who we will always be. And that is how we get things done. In silence. Okay? We move in silence. Let's keep going here. Um... It's no fair fight. To all of our enemies out there who want to keep on knocking at our door when we don't want to answer, this is not a fair fight for you. Because when you come up against God's people, you already lost. There is no competition. There is no, there's nothing. You lost. When you come to our door, when you come on God's territory, you lost. And I don't care what Satan tries to make you um, think to, so that you can continue to go after people like me and my tribe. I don't care what Satan makes them think, but they need to care. Because Satan will give them every illusion. Satan will give them everything that they need, okay, to believe that they are going to win against God's people when they will not. Bless you, baby. Bless you, baby. You okay? The opponent of the just automatically loses, okay? Family, friends, exes, okay, I don't care who they are. Whoever it is is sending you or I the evil eye, they already lost. You already lost because what you sent to me, what you sent to my kids, what they sent to you, what they sent to your kids has automatically been returned, okay? Never came in contact with their mind, body, and soul, returned instantly, all right? So whatever you send towards me or my children, whatever it was sent towards you, okay, is going to happen to them, okay? And if it didn't happen yesterday, it didn't happen today, God is going to do whatever he needs to do to make these people receive karma okay justice in the favor of god's people this is not their world they are not a part of god so they have nothing to do with what's go what goes on okay nothing if they want to be attached to satan let them do their thing okay satan is nothing and satan is going to do nothing but watch them fall that is it point blank period let's happen to it some more um you once cried okay but now god's people let me say this again we once cried over these people who tried to betray us and hurt us we cried over these people these lost souls okay we try to help heal these lost souls but i'm gonna tell you right now we give zero beep you know what i'm saying we give zero f you no zero zero this is the confidence that god's people are holding right now we're not playing anymore we're not trying to sit at tables right now we're breaking bread with people that we know swallow hard when they see us happy we're not doing that we're not entertaining these clowns these vultures okay these unholy vultures not doing that anymore all right let's keep going here um, no longer bombarded by emotions of who doesn't love or like you. If you're like me, back in the day, you would cry, you would be upset because you thought, you felt, you saw that someone didn't love you, that you loved. Family, friends, whoever it is, we gave our hearts to people that stumped on it. We gave our hearts to people who didn't care about us. We gave our hearts to people that, that, that didn't deserve it, that didn't appreciate it. And these same people who chose to walk over us, walk over our kindness, is going to experience what we have experienced. 
okay? Because in order to grow, sometimes you got to be beat down, okay? This is why God allows things to happen to, yes, even us. Because in order to grow, we got to experience things. In order for me to stand on this platform, to sit on this platform, to do whatever it is that God is calling me to do on this platform, I, have, I need it to be heard. I needed to cry. I needed to experience things so that I can help a lot of people heal. Okay? And that is why I'm here. And that our testimonies are loud. Okay? Our testimonies will be heard. My testimony will be heard. All right? And yours too. Okay? So we're focused on the people that does love us. The people that do like us. We're focused on that. I no longer care if you don't like me. I no longer care if you don't want me at your home. I no longer care if you talk about me. I simply do not care. It's actually entertainment. And I see that you see something in me that you are jealous of. All of these people who keep our names in their mouth, they're jealous of you. They want to say that they're not, but they are. Why are you talking about me? Why are you trying to make me suffer? Why are you trying to do the most to me when I'm not even worried about you? We don't even talk really, but you're trying to still hurt me? Let's keep going. Um, the more they attack the heal, the more they become unhealed. All right? Because I'm healed. I'm healed. A lot that I have been through, honey, I'm healed. And I did this by myself. Of course I did with God. But I mean, I had no man standing by me. My two children has been by my side in the physical only. That is it. That is it. My two children, I healed by myself. I have the power to do that. I also have the power to heal other people. And whether you want to take it or not, this is for our enemies, okay? Whether anybody wants to take the, the healing properties that you have inside of you is up to them. But I am no longer trying to force or beg someone to allow me to help heal them. I'm here to share my light. You are here to share your light. And that is what we're doing. But we are no longer giving in to these um, situations where we are being hurt. We are experiencing lack just to help heal and please somebody else. No, thank you. Let's keep going here. Um... You are not of God if you are if you act like you are God, okay? And a lot of our enemies want to be like, you know what? Shh, shh, shh. I don't I don't I don't say I'm God, but their actions actions speak louder than words. But they're acting like they are God by trying to control who you are and how people view you. So yeah, enemies, you are trying to act like you're God, and when you do that, that's a big no no. That's a big mistake, okay? All of our enemies can be in a room. All of our enemies can be in a room. My enemies can be in a room. Your enemies can be in a room. All of them, okay? And it just takes one, just me, just you, just one person to walk into that room. And guess what? Our head is not going to be bowed down. We're going to walk in there with our head high, okay? Confidence, feeling good, looking good, the confidence to even speak to these people. But I guarantee you if the roles were switched and all of our enemies were in the room and we came into that room, I guarantee you that their hearts would drop. They would sink, okay, until they would turn red, flabbergasted, anxiety, depression. They will cringe because that is how powerful we are. Okay, that is how powerful we, are, powerful we are. We carry that light. We carry that confidence that they don't have, that they want us to, to hide out. They want us to curl up into a, a hole and hide out. No, we're not hiding out. Our confidence came from God. He gave it to us to cast out people like you. And that is what we're doing. Okay, so don't sleep on yourself, my beautiful people. Okay, hold on. Um, but we already said that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Spiritual warriors, okay? Spiritual warriors, okay? We, um, okay, hold on. Cowards who throw stones and hide is what they are. These cowards, our enemies are cowards. They throw stones, they throw lies, they throw so many tactics at us, and then they hide their hands. I didn't do it, and then they play victim, covert narcs, right? They play victim, okay? But what they do is they throw stones, and we dodge them, and we are still unbothered. That lie you told on me, that lie they told on you, still unbothered, doesn't make me angry, doesn't make me upset. Would you clear that lie up? If you say no, I'm going to keep going about my day. I'm not going to be upset because you told a lie on me that was not true. Okay? And the enemies, when we tell the truth, they curl up. They want to leave the town. They want to leave a country. They want to go to another state because they want to hide out. They're runners. They're cowards. Because what you spoke actually hit them. It hit them because it was the truth, but they want to act like it was a lie. They want to ghost you and pretend like you don't exist when they know that you do exist because they're still holding on to your energy. They can never let go of the energy of a person they are trying to destroy. 
okay because god will allow you to be in their mind every single day and night doesn't matter what state you live in doesn't matter what you do where you try to hide doesn't matter who you go to marry sleep with no matter what our enemies do god is going to make them actually always remember what they have done until they repent and change and correct the lies that they have told don't worry about these enemies of ours. Don't worry about them. Let God do what he needs to do. And I want you to focus on God and do what you need to do. Okay? Stand in your light. Be powerful, confident, and so much more. Right? Love you guys so much. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Get your girl past 1K. We can do this. God is doing so many good things for me on this channel and beyond the channel. And I want your support. I would love your support. And if you have a YouTube, drop it down below. I will support you as well. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next message. Love and light. Bye.